Uh, that's kind of a harsh uh, generality, isn't it? Because a lot of people who really are philanthropically minded are in favor of the kind of thing that is generally understood as as a charitable intercession, isn't it? Yes, there are people who are professional politicians who simply look at the bottom line of yeah. where the votes go. There are other people who sincerely believe that if they will hand out things here and there, that this will in fact benefit people. Again, looking at uh, your point is it doesn't. It doesn't. I, I haven't been able to find. I haven't been able to find a single country in the world where the policies that are being advocated for blacks in the United States have lifted any people out of poverty. I've seen many examples around the world of people who began in poverty and ended in affluence. Not one of them has followed any pattern at all like what is being advocated for blacks in the United States. Uh, many groups have remained in poverty for a very long time trying to follow those patterns. These sort of permanent indigent classes. That's right. Within the blacks there, there's a very diverse movement though. On the one hand, you have blacks who are getting more education, who are going to college and so on. Uh, their incomes are rising not only absolutely, but relative to that of whites of the same description. Uh, it's those blacks who have not had, say, nine years of schooling, uh, who have not had um, six years of experience in the job market. Their incomes are declining relative to the incomes of, black, uh, incomes of whites if over the very same span of time. So it can't be a matter of the business cycle or something like that. It's that those blacks who have the advantages relative to others have now still more advantages. But those who had the, the very difficult poverty to deal with, that is becoming more difficult. A higher percentage of all black income is going to the top 20% of blacks over time. <laughs> well, is it your, is, do I understand you to say that the government has exacerbated the plight of these poor blacks? Yes. How? A number of ways. One, they've made it difficult to get jobs to get started in the job market. Minimum wage law would be one of those things, but only one. Uh, the terrible schooling would be uh, a major factor, that if you're going to turn out kids who are 40 percent uh, functionally illiterate upon graduation from high school, then you're going to have very serious problems in the job market. And the government is responsible for that? The government so runs the, the schools. schools, yes. Mm -hmm. State and state as well as federal. Uh, they're doing many things to make it much tougher for the person at the bottom to get started. Uh, and they're also making it uh, less necessary to get started by having various subsidy programs, food stamps, welfare, and so on, which uh, uh, reduce the difference between working and not working. So that the, the general tendency of what they're doing is to make it harder to rise. But of course, if you're lucky enough to have started to rise before these programs began, then you're in great shape. 